Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Barbara Jennings and today I've got a special guest with me, Joe Vance with First Guardian Title. And as always, we welcome you to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified every single time that you put new videos out because we're working days, nights, weekends, helping people complete a short sale. So our channel is all about Short sales, Short sales. <laughs> the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between because it's like an emotional roller coaster when you're dealing with short sales and we're dealing with people's livelihood. Yes. So we take it seriously, we take it to heart, we love helping people. And in today's video, we're gonna start off by talking about title. So Joe works for a title company. He also owns a short sale company. So kind of, we got the best of both worlds here. Yes, we do. <laughs> and first thing, and first and most importantly is title, because what title is, Joe's going to explain to you here in a second, is very, very important because if we don't know what we're dealing with in a short sale, then it could fall apart and crumble to the ground and next thing you know, you're getting foreclosed on and we do not want that to happen to you. So Joe, um, let's find out what title is all about. <laughs> <laughs> well, a title- It, it um, sounds complicated. It does, it is. <laughs> There's so many uh, different, uh, uh, situations with title. Um, there is the title company, which I work for. Um, there is also a title um, search <laughs> that it's done on every transaction. Mm -hmm. um, so and the what, is the search, what is the search go? The title search goes um, back uh, 60 years, actually. Okay. Um, and with a short sale, all right. Um, so basically what is what title is, is when you go to buy your home, you go with a title company uh, of your choice. And that is the person that conducts the closing. If you do your closing, a lot of things happen before. Um, a title search is done, which um, it goes back and looks if there's any debt attached to the property. When I mean debt, um, sometimes it's a, it's a hard situation right now with, with COVID. Things are falling behind. Um, uh, prices go, are going up. Uh, so you could have um, some debt that someone, so a, a debt collector attaches to your property, um, mm. whether a credit card, a, a car payments, um, HOAs is a big thing right now with, with, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. um, so we have a lot of HOA debt that we, uh, help homeowners with, um, mm -hmm. why I mention HOA debt, um, when you do it, when you do a short sale, uh, you know, we have to pay off all the debtors. Um, and so the bank is going to collect less money. Also the debt collectors, we have to give them something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Away from anything. Away from you know, anything. you guys did actually accumulate this debt, but we're here to help you negotiate it down yeah. and actually get to closing so you don't have that foreclosure right. you know on your mark. But right. title is really important at the very, very beginning of this process, like mm -hmm. Joe is explaining here to us today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what we do is we go, we work with um it depends on what county you live in. Every county has a courthouse and we actually mm -hmm. pull title, um, search from the land records of that county courthouse. Um, and the title tells a story. Um, you know, it's funny because if you go back to the 1800s and stuff, title was done a little differently. Yeah, um, <laughs> I could imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not like the technology today. That no, we it's have. not. <laughs> um, uh, we uh, basically go and we find uh, the story. That, like I said, the title is a story. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the house has been owned several times, and there could be um, a, someone from there could be an unreleased trust, meaning the previous owner never had. Uh, their loan released from the from the lien. So you have the present owner plus shows another owner that still owns the house. So we have to release the lien from that. Um, that's just an example of what could happen with, right. with title issues. But with the short sale and title, um, there is a lot of things that could be attached like HOA debt, um, yeah. tax liens, which we'll go over here in a little bit. Um, so we not only negotiate with the bank, we negotiate with the lien holders and make sure mm -hmm. the liens are released so you could sell the property. Um, we have been doing this for a long time. When I say we, my company, KJD Resolutions, um, I work with First Guardian Title, but like she said, I, I have my own title yeah. company. <laughs> it's um, kind of like you get the package yes, all in one. You get, you, get, all you, one. Get, you get the realtor, you get the title company, and yep. you, you get the... Uh, Everything. Yeah, all in one. All, all in, in one, one package. It's a great thing. And uh, yeah. we're very good at what we do. Um, we actually work with some um, men and women at the different banks that other negotiators don't get to work with. Um, so title, um, we go and look at um, the whole picture of title. Mm -hmm. That title has uh, a brief history of all the liens that are attached to the property. Um, sometimes you'll have a problem with, like if you have an H, if you're behind on HOA, the HOA will put a lien on the house. 
um, which means you're behind on your HOA and then has to be paid at the time of closing. Um, with a short sale, as you know, um, there's not a lot of money to go around. The bank is accepting less. So we have to get these other lien holders to accept less, which we have become very good at. <laughs> so um, uh, basically this area, there's some really um, standard HOA companies around like Laker Woods and things of that nature that yeah, we work Landmark. with. Landmark. And, and um, what's the other one, the real big one? Uh, First Residential. First really, yep. You know, so you got a laundry list of different things, but we got the important mm -hmm. thing that you guys need to know is that we have a process and a system that we follow. And in today's video, we talked about title and Joe said, hey, you know, somebody, somebody is physically going, picking up paperwork from Joe's office and getting back in their car and going down to the courthouse and physically doing research like a librarian would mm -hmm. and then coming back with that documentation and sharing with Joe mm -hmm. and his company that is all of what is in the title work and a lot of people don't understand that there is somebody that is physically going out and getting in the car and driving around you know a lot of people think oh title today's technology like oh yeah. you just go online you get that right right it's not the case no and, it's not you know like even during, I wish it was that. <laughs> <laughs> even during COVID, you know yeah there was still people had to go and get documentation and Absolutely. stuff like that so in a nutshell title is really important mm -hmm. is one of the first things that we pull in our process and as always if you like this video and you think it's informative or can help you or has helped somebody else, go ahead and smash that like uh, button and pass our video on to other people um, because we're helping people days, nights, weekend, helping them move and relocate and get their lives back together and get on a track as opposed to like being stuck right, right. Um, with all this debt and this hardship and the worry and everything else that's going on. Yep. Um, and, and like you said, you know, when we first get a short sale, we, we pull the title. And if you're behind on your payments, like I said before, you're probably behind on other things, unfortunately. It's a it's a difficult time in our, our day and age. Um, and what we like to do is help our homeowners decrease their debt. So we've been very, we well, we had a lot of practice negotiating with these different lien holders. So we've actually become, uh, we do a short sale, we pull the title um, and the title tells a story. And what we do is we work with those lien holders to release the lien. And sometimes we're able to get them to take less money um, and forgive the debt sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes they'll release the lien, but come after the debt later. Um, we try to release the debt. Um, sometimes um, the banks and, and lien holders are not so forgiving, um, but we've um, become very good at what we do. So if you have a short sale, contact the best realtor I know, Barbara James. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and she will take very good care of you. And then she'll bring the short set us and we'll take a very good care of you. So in a nutshell, that's what title is all about. And as always, remember to tap that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified every single time that we put new videos out because today was talking about title. We're going to be talking about hardships. We're going to be talking about uh, tax, tax liens, liens in the future, um, short sale stories, how we're able to actually turn a short sale into a regular sale, um, all these good things, the good, the bad, the ugly. So stay tuned for those other videos. Uh, we got some right up here in the corner there.